All right, uh, hi guys. Look, sorry for the delay of getting um, the file out uh, for this video. I'm looking at one of the interactions for the um, paper uh, newsfeed. Um, so I, I reckon I probably spent about a month ago, maybe just a couple of hours working on it really quickly. So I was just curious to use um, some of the new patches in the latest origami update um, and also just to see if I could um, get most of it you know, illustrated for a prototype working um, and also then some of the more finite details, how hard it would be and how much more time I'd have to put into it. I think I did a couple of things probably wrong in hindsight after I started to build it, but then it was a bit too late to backtrack. So I thought um, first I'll just kind of take you through how it's set up so that way you just have some kind of a reference point to how I approach it because I'm sure there's multiple ways to get roughly across this interaction. So if I tap it and I pull down, we get close to the news feed and if I pull it up, I pull it back down, you know, it's it's fairly close and it also runs on, on Origami Live. So if we click into the main layer group, I'll just give you a bit of a rough down of, of what we have here. So I've actually um, connected a lot of it to a scroll patch and this is probably one of the ones where I'm, I'm sure there's a much better way to do this, but I ended up just using like a, a gesture layer with, with zero opacity um, as a kind of way of driving uh, the swipe patch. Um, so I'm, I'm sure and I'd be curious if if any of you guys out there have a better way of doing this or can explain a better way, um, I'd be, be curious to know another quick way of getting something to get going. Um, the second thing I found was is that when I, s all these down here, each of the newsfeed um, items, the actual stories are separate layer groups. Um, and in hindsight now, what I realized is, is when you scale it up, they actually are slightly blurry here um, on my screen because I'm actually just scaling the whole layer group. So I probably should have done that a bit different and got the resolution of this full scaled one right and then worked my way backwards. But when I was kind of putting it together just to get the, the nuts and bolts of the interaction working, um, it wasn't until later that I put the assets in. I was just getting the main blank white page to scale up. And so at that point I just thought, look, I'll, I'll continue on. I can still get close to the look and feel. Um, and this is where also like just, I just find anyway, and sometimes like if I can get close enough to faking what I mostly want with minimal time in, it's probably still good enough. Um, it just depends if you're trying to get like pixel perfection and you know everything in the right position or you're just trying to roughly express the idea. So over here, we've kind of got the cover. So I think what we'll do is we just start with the cover. So you can see that when I pull this back, it scales back the cover and drops drops the opacity. So that's, that's kind of that happening there. So you can kind of dig through and, and have a look at how that's done. So, it, you know, it's all driven off of the progress of your interaction but there's you know, like tons of objects moving, scaling and changing on that you know, simultaneous one swipe up and swipe down. So that's kind of what's happening there. Um, from this progress, I got a wireless broadcaster and that's gonna broadcast down um, into the newsfeed for each of those layer groups. So I can drive a lot of all those little animations for all those objects moving and scaling uh, simultaneously. Um, so we might dive in and have a quick look at that. So in this level, uh, we've got, I uh, called it card one, uh, card two, and card three. So this corresponds to card one, uh, card two, and card three. So that's kind of how I tackled approaching it. And so then, you know, when you scale these up inside each of these, if you open them up, you'll have the progress receiver from the highest level um, of the composition. And that's being brought down into here. And so through here, this one uh, corresponds to the, the watch video. And so, use an image transition patch to kind of scale the text so we can see kind of here um, that text scaling even on the side on the one on the left um, and that's kind of driving through all the changes within within that layer group that's in that newsfeed story. So we jump back out to the second main one. This is the one that's got you know a little bit more going on um, and so here there was a, a couple of things I actually uh, still had some difficulty with. I'd be curious if anyone out there um, in the origami group um, could maybe um, explain this or ha have a few ways that I could approach this. But when you've got everything driven off progress because you do want it to be off the interaction, the ones I really struggled with was kind of the, these ones that scale out in between um, when the plus three and that, so they, they're scaling out on the X axis. And it was really hard to get them not to touch as you're scaling up and down if everything's moving at the same time. And so I tried to use, you know, math patches and things to divide it, just slow it down. But I wasn't sure if that was exactly the right way to approach it. Um, but everything here should be fairly straightforward. And some of them I used a delay patch to, to delay the, the movement 
um, here's where I rotate the frames of the two pictures so they come out stacked and on top of each other and then they kind of twist out into a flat position so you can have a little bit of a look at that there um, and then again you know the crossfading of the text um, is just one way I looked at, at approaching it by the time you get into the full screen one versus the lower but um, one thing I did notice is that you, these objects um, so the faces of the people do jitter a little bit and I wasn't sure if there's a way to clean that up and make them not jitter as you're kind of just um, scaling it up and down and also just what I'd really um, still couldn't get my head around was was just ways to if everything's driven off the same pro, uh, progress delay certain objects a little bit um, so that uh, the ones that are kind of stretching out don't ever touch um, the user on the end or the first two as they're kind of coming out so it's really borderline close you can see they still pretty much touch but in the real app there's um, great separation so that's something I was still looking at but I just I just didn't have time because I just looked at it quite quickly uh, what else um, and then yeah again a same repetition of this uh, for the for the article here from the magazine um, on the one on the far right and again this is a bit lighter in terms of what's what's going on in that one so the, the kind of the main scene and the one that I spent most of the time on was this center one so you, I guess if you logically group them in folders and you have these kind of layer groups for these these ones and you drive them from that high level of progress you can see you can pull together the composition quite quickly and there's not that many elements to it so it, it looks quite complicated because you've got you know about 23 objects you, you know simultaneously scaling or moving or changing but um if you, you layer it up and, and build out a clean hierarchy it's actually not too bad so hopefully if I you know having explained through this you guys um, dig through it a bit um, it should make a fair amount of sense if you have like any more questions or I'm, I'm sure like I'm by no means um, anywhere near an expert um, in origami but I love uh, playing with it from time to time um, so yeah that, that was um, pretty much just a quick run through of, of this composition so I've just added a link for it as well um, on the post um, that I'm about to do and so I just you know there was a few things I still I don't understand is I've never really got the velocity patch in origami I've mucked around with it I'm not even sure if I've wired this up correctly so I'd be keen to know if anyone out there um, look, understands this patch well is this right like the velocity of flicking it up and flicking it down have I have I implemented that correctly I'm, I'm really not sure um, yeah so I, I know here in full screen like you'd, you'd want this to be clear and of high resolution but I'm scaling that layer group so I lose a bit of clarity um, and you can see also you know some of the, the user profiles jitter as they're coming up so I was wondering if there was a way to clear that clean that up um, I wasn't able to to work that out uh, I would love to be able to obviously scroll um, this news feed from left to right as well as maintaining the scaling up and down behavior and I wasn't sure about a quick way about tackling um, being able to do both so I'd be keen to know if anyone wanted to muck around with this composition a bit how, how I could possibly add that a bit quicker so I guess probably the main one I kind of really struggled and I probably got to go back and think about this a bit more but if you have all these objects running off um, the same progress um, how can you change the timings for some of the objects but not all of them and the problem with the delay is that I, I don't really want it to, to delay necessarily um, so I tried the delay patch but it wasn't getting me when I compared it to the real Facebook paper the exact right behavior in terms of the delaying the scale so you can see there even on the scaling out it's already touching the fourth one that changed from the gray box to that so I, I did struggle quite a bit um, so I wasn't sure uh, how to how to go about that um, so I was trying you know maths patches to just divide down the progress so that it would be a bit slower or you know trying to d delay them not to overlap so I'd be keen if anyone um, has got a, a great way of kind of approaching that just to make sure that you know majority of your objects are all driven on the same um, progress and timing but uh, just a really simple way of delaying certain ones that um, that way you can avoid things touching and overlapping as they're kind of stretching out um, yeah so I think that's that's pretty much it so hopefully um, you know this helps and uh, you know it's a, it's a great uh, tool and um, yeah look, thanks for the to the Facebook team um, at Creative Labs for uh, putting it together it's, it's great